All right, guys. Uh, so for all you classic uh, Game Boy players, uh, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get the Game Boy uh, application for your jailbroken iPhone or iPod Touch. Uh, I'm just gonna give City a minute here to continue loading. This is why I like to start my videos when City is already loaded. Come on. Now, if you guys ever heard any mixed reviews about Rock and Cydia, um, Rock is about 10 times faster to load. Um, but Cydia tends to be more popular, it's a little bit easier to use, and it's quite a bit more user friendly. Um, Alright, so let's get started here. Uh, first thing you're going to want to do is uh, I think Game Boy uh, for iPhone is I believe it's just under just regular sources um, so what you're going to do is you're going to type in Game Boy Yeah, uh, whoops. You're gonna go down to Game Boy for iPhone. You're gonna click that, hit install, confirm. Uh, once you get that, I actually uh, reformatted my phone the other day, so I don't actually have any any games for my Game Boy, so I'll do it with you guys. So it says, no ROMs found. Uh, would you like to find them? Uh, well, of course, we wanna play some games. Uh, a ROM is read-only memory. Um, so basically, you download a zip folder just like it says, and you play it right from here. Now it's going to bring you to a web page. The best one to go to is DopeRoms.com, which is the very first one. You're just going to click on it there. Whoops. Okay, I already clicked on it. Sorry, guys. Um, you're going to want to expand that. Go down to right here where it says Game Boy and Game Boy Color. Click that. Uh, after that's loaded, you're gonna type in. Uh, I don't know. I don't know a whole lot of old Game Boy games. The one that I know most familiar with, and probably most of you guys too, uh, is Pokemon. Pokemon's been around forever. So you're going to hit go, go or done either way, and you're going to hit go on your browser. Um, then what you're going to do, I think Crystal was the best Pokemon version. Um, so basically just, just click the top one. Uh, if you want Crystal, you can get yellow, silver, blue, red, whatever other one you want. But Crystal is the, is the newest one of those. You're going to just scroll down where it says download ROM. You're just going to hit that. It's going to go into another screen. I believe it's going to say confirm. Which we will do. Or download. So you're going to hit that in the zip folder. And it's going to say please confirm that you own this. And the file legally. Ha ha ha. What a joke. So hit confirm. And it's going to download. And this little box will close when when it's finished. So we'll just give that a second. It only takes about 20 seconds or so. Maybe a little bit more. Okay, uh, so now that that's done, you're just going to click down here. You are going to click 
Ooh. You're going to click saves. Or sorry, uh, browse. Click back into browse. There's Pokemon. Now, what you got to do first, you got to go into options. There's... Um, hard to see that. There are options. You have skins 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Click anything except for one. Except for the first skin. I'll click the fourth one. And then you're going to go back to browse. You're going to go into your Pokemon game. Uh, you can, I'll play it with, with no sound for now. Um, wow. Okay. Um, what it is, is those ones that I told you about, um, they're basically just different controllers. So, as you can see, the controller that I had there, um, I'm going to click five. I think that's my favorite one. I can't remember. Yeah, this is the one that I like the most, this controller pad. Um, because you need this button here to save currently loaded so you can save your game and go back and play it. Uh, the first controller doesn't have that, right? Which is why you need it. So, look at that. There's Pokemon Crystal. Um, you got to go through all the crap of setting it up and whatnot. Anyways, I'm not going to bother with this now, but you're going hit to the, hit the little Z button. If you can see that. You're going to hit that little Z. You're going to click Save Currently Loaded State, or Save State, which is what you, currently you have. So you're going to click that, and then you can just click the Home button to get out, or you can click back to menu if you want to play another game. Um, I just saved it. Now, once you're here, you're going to click on Saves here at the bottom. Okay. Um, Mine didn't save because I actually didn't get past the loading point where it asked me if I'm a boy or girl or the time or all that crap. So once you actually get into the game, you save it. Um, recents just recently played and where it says saves down there at the bottom. Probably screwed that up. Where it says saves down there at the bottom, your Pokemon game will be listed at the top. And all you have to do is just click that and away you go and you're ready to roll. All right, guys, so uh, thanks for watching the tutorial, and have a good one.